Hello, my name is Dr. Sierra Richard. I'm a clinical pharmacist specialist, and today we're going to review a calculations question from the NAPLEX test bank with TrueLearn. Now, vancomycin is a common medication that we give in the hospital, and pharmacists play an integral role in helping dose and manage this medication. So let's review this patient case. Mrs. Everly is a 79-year-old white woman with a past history of type 2 diabetes who recently presented from her long-term care facility to the emergency department with fever and an oozing sore on her left foot. Upon laboratory testing and physical examination, the team arrives at diabetic foot ulcer for her working diagnosis. To prevent infection with methicillin resistance, Staphylococcus aureus, MRSA, and pseudomonas, the team elects to begin vancomycin and piperacillin tazobactam. The resident in charge of this case is comfortable with piperacillin tazobactam dosing, but requests the clinical pharmacy services help in dosing vancomycin. Mrs. Eberly's weight is 67 kilograms, and she has a normal renal function with her BUN and her serum creatinine within normal limits. Which of the following would be a appropriate starting dose of vancomycin? So there's a lot of information in this paragraph. This is one of those questions where as a pharmacist or somebody who's going through these questions, you're really going to have to dig into what is important. Really what we're looking for is the starting dose of vancomycin. There's a lot of things here about the MRSA and where she came from, such as long-term care facility, which is why we're covering MRSA and pseudomonas, but not all of that is necessary. So what do you need to calculate a starting dose of vancomycin? The first thing is the weight, which is 67 kilograms in this case, and the renal function, which we know is normal based on the information they gave us here. So at that point, we need to know what is the starting dose of vancomycin in milligrams per kilogram. If you don't know that there is a range for a starting dose, it is 15 to 20 milligram per kilogram is the standard. Each institution is going to have their own protocol or starting dose that they like to use that's typically based on age and renal function, but that can vary between institutions depending on the exact number that they're going to give, but 15 to 20 is a really good starting point and what is recommended. So we can see here that the first option is oral vancomycin, and we know that oral vancomycin is not going to be an option for a patient with a infection like this. Oral vancomycin is reserved for C. diff, which is lower in the colon. And the reason we don't use oral vancomycin for any infection that needs to go through the bloodstream is because vancomycin is a huge molecule. I like to think of vancomycin as the size of Texas. This molecule is humongous. And so as it's going through your body, your body has trouble absorbing that large molecule, which means it's hard to get it into the bloodstream. So we need to put the vancomycin directly in the bloodstream through IV therapy. So oral vancomycin is not an option here. Next, let's look at the other three options. We can see that all three of them are intravenous vancomycin and twice daily. So the only difference between these last three answers is this dose. So it's 500, 1,250 milligrams, or 1,750 milligrams. So since we know that range, let's go ahead and do the math. So 67 times 15 is going to give us 1,005. We don't have that option here. So let's clear this out. And we're going to do 67 times 20. And we get 1,340. So also not on the list. But what you're going to notice is that this 1,250 milligrams is right in the middle of that range. So that's the one we're going to select. 500 milligrams is going to be a low dose for this patient. If you want to kind of check your math, another option is to go backwards and see that this is only 7.46 milligrams per kilogram, which is pretty low for vancomycin. And you would see that this 1250 is going to be a little bit more appropriate at 18.65 exactly milligrams per kilogram. And then you can see here that we're shooting extremely high at 26 milligrams per kilogram. So if you want to work backwards, this is a good way to do it. So that 500 milligrams is going to be an underdose. The concern with underdosing is that you're not fully treating the infection and you can cause resistance. So we don't need this patient having any more resistance than they already do. 
And then this 1,750 milligram dose would be overdosing the patient. And right now we have normal renal function, which is great for a 79 year old. But if we give too much vancomycin, what we're going to find is that the patient could potentially have nephrotoxicity, so damage to their renal function, and ototoxicity, so difficulty with that loss of hearing. And we don't want to cause that to our wonderful Mrs. Everly here. So we're going to go with that 1,250 milligram dose. And then as she goes through the remainder of her treatment, we will get trough levels, monitor her renal function, and make sure there's no changes that would cause a need for a dose change. So let's look at the explanation given here by the TrueLearn Test Bank. And I love these bottom line sections that just give us the brief overview. So if you got it right, just double checking that the reason you got it right was what you think, which for us is correct, this 15 to 20 milligram per kilogram dose based on actual body weight. This is a very important thing when doing dose calculations is making sure you're using the right weight. Actual body weight is preferred for our vancomycin patients. And so here it kind of goes through what we talked about of what your therapeutic troughs might be. It's pretty detailed here, but we get down to the part right here that we did where we calculated the two different options within the range. So the 15 to 20 found the range and then selected the dose that was between that range. Here it mentions that that oral vancomycin would not be appropriate in this scenario, but it is a first line treatment for C. diff. And that the 500 would be too low and that that 1,750 milligrams would be too high. So if you are having trouble with the vancomycin mechanism or just learning vancomycin and you have the Picmonic add-on, there's some great memory anchors here for that. And I love the other additional resources that you can find here for learning more about vancomycin and how it's used to treat our patients. So with that, I hope you found this question walkthrough helpful and good luck on your NAPLEX. 